We're here today in front of Tiger Mountain where we have a lot of excitement going on. We have two litters of tiger cubs on exhibit here. One, a litter of three Amur tiger cubs, and then right next door, three Malayan tiger cubs. And it's the first time that the Bronx Zoo's ever exhibited these two subspecies in the same exhibit. Some people may know Amur tigers better by the name Siberian tigers, but they've absolutely would call them Amur tigers now because of the region in, in Russia where they live, the Amur Valley region. This is the first litter of Amur tiger cubs we've had since uh, 1997, which is uh, 13 years ago. And uh, both of those uh, cubs that were born here are still uh, at the Bronx Zoo. They still live at the Bronx Zoo. Aside from size, because the, the uh, Amur tigers live in cold weather climates, they tend to have longer hair, especially in the winter time. They'll get a dense winter coat. Um, they're lighter in color. Their stripes are not as distinct. The Malayan tigers are shorter hair because, again, they come from uh, tropical forests. And their stripe and pattern tends to be very distinct. distinct Distinct, very sharp contrast between the dark stripes and the, and the orange background. That's a really a special experience, we think, for people to be able to get so close uh, to such an animal uh, that they wouldn't normally be able to see. And here they virtually nose to nose because the way Tiger Mountain is designed, there's um, just a um, glass between you and the animals. And because the cubs are here and because they're, they're very young and curious and inquisitive, they frequently come down to the glass to interact with people. So it's a great experience. So we want people to feel the sense of awe and appreciation appreciation for not just tigers but all wildlife and and the ultimate goal is to have people support uh, the wildlife conservation society and the conservation work that we do around the world